right, I just got done snow shoveling here in southern, sunny Southern California. Here's uh, my view. <laughs> um, so I want to go down. Uh, we just had a uh, episode five, the uh, right before the before the finale of uh, um, Hawkeye. I kind of want to go through some of the stuff that happened here. I want to go down my list, uh, and also there's going to be spoilers if you're. Afraid you might be spoiled by this, uh, please back out now. Otherwise, uh, here we go. So here's the, I guess, 11 and a half is what I called it, uh, predictions I had. Number one, tracksuit mafia would occur. Uh, yeah, that happened. Bro everywhere. Yeah, lots and lots of bros. Check. Lucky the pizza dog. They've not called him Lucky. They've not called him Arrow either. But obviously he's the pizza dog. <laughs> um, Hawkeye beat up a lot, a lot, a lot. He's been beat up a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Madam Mask, Kate's mom, Eleanor's going to show up. She's been in the show, and today we discovered she's a bad guy. <laughs> Who didn't know that? Come on. Um, that Val will show up. She's not really showed up. Uh, they kind of had a flashback with her today, I think. Um, but it but, uh, doesn't count, I think. Maybe it counts. We're not going to count it right now. Black Widow 2, or, or Sister, Sister Widow, uh, she's definitely shown up. Uh, Yelena. And uh, she, th this episode was all about her, basically. And it was pretty good. I, I think this was one of the better episodes. Um, Echo would be in. Uh, she's definitely in. Hawkeye will be uh, have deaf, have hearing problems. That's definitely happened. Tracksuit Mafia, Echo, and Madam Mask all were, are being run by the Kingpin. Uh, that's not been confirmed. But it's been confirmed today. <laughs> so I'm going to call that as done, too. Uh, Kingpin will show up. Probably it'll be the Full Metal Jacket Kingpin from Daredevil. And yeah, that, that happened too. Um, so, huh, that's 11. So we have all of the 11 major um, predictions have occurred on the show already. Ain't that interesting? 11 and a quarter. Uh, uh, we called this from the dog's point of view. That's not happened. I don't think they're going to have the last episode from the dog point of view. Uh, maybe. Hmm. No, I don't think so. Oh, man, it would really be cool if they did have a little bit of that of, of the dog point of view. And then 11.5 episode from the deaf point of view. They definitely had the deaf point of view. So that was kind of cool. Um, so that being said, I guess we're at, uh, we're at 11 and a quarter at 11, 11 and a half. So um, I think that's a pretty good odds, guys. Um, hmm. Uh I guess I guess I could have written a better one since uh, I basically predicted everything there. Um, so uh, kind of, uh, I wanted to kind of talk about the episode. I liked it. Uh, uh, you know, we started out with. Uh, I really liked the way they showed uh, uh, Elena appearing and disappearing. So we've seen the dust from other people's point of view. Um, so, you know, it was really cool in, I, I thought it was really cool in uh, WandaVision when, um, when she, when, uh, oh geez, now I can't think of her name, when uh, um, Baser, Spectrum, uh, we, we'll, when she was dusted and then came back to life. Why can't I think of her name? Um, and, and then, you, you know, you watch other people dusting in and out and and, uh, and running into her, stuff like that. Uh, in this episode, we get it right from uh, Yelena's point of view. So she went in, she splashed some water on her face, she was washing her hands, and then she disappeared. And then when she came back, uh, the world had changed around her. Um, I don't know if they had to have, like, like the the painting and the, and the lights slowly change I think they could have just had it changed immediately but but it's still it was kind of neat um yeah I, all in all it was a great point of view it was interesting I thought uh, yeah uh, so then you know we get we get Clint uh, I don't know why he took his hearing it out but it was interesting where you know I take uh, if when I put my hearing aids in I hear a whole lot more um, when I pull them out I hear the ringing, uh -huh. but if it wasn't just uh, the ringing, I also have a loss, like half the sounds disappear, but but I don't necessarily notice it. I don't wear the hearing aids too much, so I don't mind. 
I guess being in a, a hazy room, I don't know. But the ringing is the part that I don't like the most. But, but anyway, so I like that they, they had him uh, pull those out to talk to Nat so that him and her were alone, you know, at her memorial or whatever. And, um, and kind of the sounds behind us disappear too. So that was kind of, kind of an interesting, uh, point of view. Um, I like that Echo, is Echo a bad guy? In the comics, Echo is, isn't necessarily a bad guy. Um, the Kingpin is running her and she is, um, told that daredevil killed her dad uh in this case um it's very similar but it's it's uh, ronin now what, what i find interesting is in the comics echo becomes ronin so I, I assume she's she's getting her own show and i assume this will be her becoming ronin and and i imagine we will get her in the uh avengers or the young avengers somewhere she shouldn't be in the Young Avengers, uh, but whatever. Uh, we'll see. Um, but I do like that she she, although she's very angry, and like Clint said, you know, we're we are weapons, and you know, people can take advantage of that. I do like that she listened to him, and and immediately she obviously is super intelligent. She immediately understood that it was Kazi that that probably was the bad guy there, and. And so, do you blame the weapon or do you blame the person pointing the weapon? I know uh, in today's day and age, oftentimes we want to blame some scary weapon. But, you know, when a car drives through a group of people, um, only an idiot says, ban cars. Instead, we say, that jerk who did it should be brought to justice. And, and this is the deal with Kazi I, I, and, and uh and Echo, I think Echo is coming to that realization that Ronin was a weapon. Is Ronin bad or good? Hmm, that's debatable. Was her dad bad or good? Also, not so debatable, actually. He was a bad guy. Uh, and, and although I, I really like that they used... Uh, I, I hope they have more flashbacks with... Um, with her dad because I really like the actor I like that they're using actual Native Americans for this part uh, so uh, so anyway so yeah he, he he didn't blanch he didn't say I didn't kill the guy instead he said yeah I was pointed at this I want you to see my face I want you to read my lips I'm gonna use a little bit of the little bit of sign language I know to 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 convey my message and uh, she walked away from it uh, with questions for Kazi. Uh, in the comic books, I think Kazi's killed with a toothpick. <laughs> One of the worst ways to die is by toothpick. <laughs> and um, it, it, it's kind of to show how good Hawkeye is and Kate, Kate Bishop. And I think that that little Christmas special where they, they were flipping the quarters, I think Kazi gets knocked out or killed with a quarter. Um, and I don't think I, I, I don't think Echo is going to miss him. I think she'll understand that he's the bad guy. And I think this will be our turning point for her towards the towards the light uh, to use a uh, Star Wars. <laughs> um, I like that Yelena didn't attack Kate, so she could have. She could have said, you know, hey, here's somebody who is attacking him. Instead, she looks at Kate, who who didn't shoot her with an arrow, who didn't even try, who who just let her go, as m much like that. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, uh, police officer. If they give you a warning and say, hey, stop, and you stop, and they don't shoot you, then that uh, that shows them to be the good, good character, good guy. Um. So. I like that she talked to her. I like that she takes her esteem of Hawkeye into account. You can see her little wheels rolling there. She's like, mm, why do you like this guy? What makes you say he's a good guy? These words you're using, like hero and, and that kind of thing, 
Mm. And she calls her out on her hero worship. But at the same time, I feel like she is listening. And so she figured out who hired her, Echo did, and at the end of the episode, sends that to Kate. Hey, it's your ma. And we get our first glimpse of the kingpin. Yeah, we saw his arm. We saw his cuff link. We knew that it was him. We we heard his voice. Uh, uh, I think I think he has a very distinctive laugh. And uh, I mean, all the way from Full Metal Jacket, uh, we know that this is uh, Vincent uh, D'Onofrio. Um, so so without question, I was I was absolutely sure that that was him. And even though I'd kind of – the reason I had said he would be in the show is because of Echo. So Echo is a character that is tied up with the Kingpin. There's no way they could have an Echo origin and not have Kingpin. So, you know, that's kind of why I, I suggested that. And But it's really good to see him. Um, and I don't know if this means that, uh, that the rest of the Netflix series are canon necessarily. This could be – you know, sort of like Spider-Man, uh, it could be the same world or it could be the world adjacent. So, you know, we saw we saw Loki have a lot of variants, and uh, some of the some of the Loki variants look like Loki. Some of the Loki variants didn't. Mm. And so, the this could be a variant of Kingpin, and it could be just that he looks the same, uh, but has a little bit of a different backstory. So, it could be that there's a uh, that those series aren't canon, and that uh, that they'll be canonized uh, later, or it could be that we just call them canon and and we go with it. So, all right, guys. Uh, well, I think the only thing we have left is the ending, and uh, I think we'll get a little bit of Val in the ending, and uh, I think we'll get. Uh, man, sure would be cool to get more about the pizza dog. Uh, I hope we do. All right, guys. Thank you much.